A three-story building collapsed uh, today with suspected occupants allegedly trapped. This took place around noon. Our correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokun, who was at the scene, now reports. It was around 12 noon that a three-story building collapsed in Mushi. Apparently, the structure had since been weakened by water log. First respondents were at the scene to ensure the safety of residents in the area. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, and the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency carried out a joint exercise in demolishing all the structures close to the site to ensure the safety of the occupants and prevention of future occurrence. Speaking to Plus TV News, representatives of the agencies gave their word on the process of clearing and demolition being carried out on the site of the collapse, pointing out that two persons were rescued since their arrival. The information we had from those who are here was that the first part of the building that went down was the underground structure. So definitely the shockaway had gone down. So if this is a sign that maintenance of that shockaway has not been proper. You know, with the type of rainfall we have this year, and shockaway may accumulate more runoff water. So if it had failed, that means it had not been taken care of for some years. Early this morning, we were informed that a building collapsed at this residential area. Immediately, we activated our emergency response plan. All the key stakeholders that are important in managing emergency moved to the scene. With the combined effort, we are able to rescue two people alive and they have been treated. However, from the, uh, from the information gathered by us, we were informed that there are two females that are still missing. With that, we are painstaking in carrying out our search and rescue. We are using our Delta equipment, we are using our light duty equipment, and we are moving from one layer to another. A woman who was an occupant of the collapsed building shared our ordeal narrating how she and her son escaped. We are seeing the house. Every, uh, this morning, I see everywhere breaking for the corner, corner, corner. I can't, I can't tell my son, this house, you know, go last. You better cook look for where you go. Make no con get problem. That's all. Everywhere to break everywhere. Our water don't full everywhere. The house room water don't full up. Water ready for the house plenty. Up na seven uh, tank in there. So now water, maybe now it cause the problem. Amongst the residents in the area, a shop owner also spoke on the loss he would face as his building was going to be demolished. I had some uh, some people shouting at the back of the premises. Then I came out. And somebody will say, uh, the house is throwing stone, no stone or what? I was standing in front of the in front of this guy when suddenly the building collapsed, the building that the back collapsed. So when the building recovered, after the collapse, and I called my boss. That's exactly what happened. He said I should lock the office. Then I should, he, this place was crowded by that time. He said I should go home. At least, if anything is supposed to happen, they seem to, they're supposed to give us a notice. Maybe. Even a week, at least two days for us to pack. I was inside the, I was in the house when I received the call that uh, they are demolishing the, the main building. I was here. They couldn't even allow me to take a pin. Building collapse is being a recurring decimal in Lagos State, with engineers advised to play their parts in ensuring the proper use of materials in right proportions so as to avoid such happenings in the future. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.